All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. I'm going to do a brief walkthrough of the Lively Wallpaper app. If you go on to the Microsoft Store, it is available for free. It's just called Lively Wallpaper. And it's basically a, a free alternative to the wallpaper engine that you can get on Steam. And it's very lightweight and easy to use. I literally just installed it earlier and was messing around with it. So what is a live wallpaper app? Basically, it's what you see behind you. It just lets you pick one of these videos that you can play and it turns the background of your computer into a live wallpaper. It comes with a bunch of preset ones and I can also go looking through when it's available, their gallery of different wallpapers. I'm assuming that they're gonna let people sell them in here because it's got like a little shopping bag icon, but I don't actually know. But for right now, you've got all these like ones here that are available that come with the app, which are kind of like my, uh, kind of like my other Chupacabra's Lair wallpaper, but some of them are interactable. So like, they're not all just like a straight video. Like some of them are interactable and parallaxing like this one. They're trying to make these things kind of interactive to a degree. And you can also go through and add your own custom wallpapers as well. So let's go ahead and find one. I was looking for them a moment ago on YouTube. So let me type in live wallpaper and see what we can find. So there's, there's a lot of videos on here that can kind of function as a live wallpaper, but you don't necessarily want one that's like, 12 hours long because that just sounds super duper obnoxious. So let's go ahead and search for one that's under four minutes. This one that I was looking at is under four minutes. This looping one isn't bad. Let's grab this. And then let's go ahead and download that. Okay, so I have that downloaded. It's down here at the bottom. Let's just minimize that. And my wallpaper that I grabbed is right here. So I can just click on add a wallpaper and then just drag and drop it right here into the file. It looks like you can also add a YouTube URL if you want, and it'll automatically go grab it. So we can try that in a minute. I just downloaded this through a YouTube video downloader. And no, I cannot share with you how to do that. YouTube will get mad at me. We'll just call that live wallpaper vaporwave. I don't really have any other info about this to put in here because it's just for tutorial purposes. And then boom, you can see it loaded there in the background. It's a little bit, it's a little bit not crisp. I don't know if that's just because I picked a bad video that didn't download very well. Um, it might work a little bit better if I don't use a random video downloader because some of those websites are hot garbage. Um, let's go ahead and grab another one. I had some other ones that I was looking at, like this one. Does this come in HD? It goes up to 4K, so I'm assuming yes. So I'm gonna grab the URL from the top here and pause it. Let's add a video from this. Oh, it does work with that. It's, um, I don't know, it's like a cherry blossom tree. It's a cherry blossom tree on fire. We'll just say, okay. And then we'll hit all right, and let's see what that does for low. Oh, that one's, eh, it's still kind of chonky. Like, it's not a great frame rate, and it's not a super great. Oh, no, it's downloading. I guess it just has to download the different versions to make it slightly better over time. Oh, yeah. So if you use the video URL, it, it's, it downloads all the different versions until it's nice and crisp. So if you're going to use this, you don't even have to download it. You can literally just use the URL from YouTube and it'll just yoink the video. Oh, in that case, that's great. We don't even have to fart around with the ones that are like four seconds long. We can just go back and grab like, I was looking at this earlier and like, this one looks really dope, but it it's 12 hours long. I'm not downloading that to my computer. Are you insane? That'll take forever just for a quick video tutorial. Uh-uh, ain't doing that nonsense. So let's just grab the URL. And then we'll minimize that. Let's add another one via that. And then we'll just call this 
cool, crazy ocean thingy. And click OK. Oh, it is so loud. I don't need the loud preview, thank you. Why is it so loud? How do I make it not loud? Please stop. Okay, that was... That was a lot. Um, anyway, it's a looping video. That's all it is for 12 hours of looping video. And then if I move this off to the side, it looks pretty good. It, oh, it is. If you wanted with sound, this would certainly give you with sound. I hope it gives you the option to have it without sound. Because that is, can I turn the sound off? I can set as wallpaper and can customize it. Edit it, please. Because I don't want this with sound. Wow, that is super loud. Can I mute that in any way? So you can't mute it. That's really weird. Why wouldn't... Okay, if there's one thing I could tell the people who make this to add, make it so that it just has the option to make sure the video is muted, because I don't necessarily need to have some intense sound while I'm working on my computer. That was very loud. All right, well, anyway, this in a nutshell is Lively Wallpaper. If we go into... The settings here, you can do things like tell it to be to turn on at Windows startup. I'm probably not going to use this a terrible lot because this is the first time I've actually looked at my desktop in probably a month. Um, I don't necessarily, I mean, this just tells it if you want it to be hiding in the system tray in the lower left hand corner or if you just want it to be hidden, hide, like functioning in the background. I would always say you should have something that tells you that it's running so you know. And then the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. Do you want to use a theme from the system, system default, a dynamic one based on the wallpaper, all that good stuff. You can change language later. Um, right now it's only in English. You can set the volume. Okay, so let me just turn the volume to zero. So here you can set the volume. That, that answers that question. I don't need my wallpapers to make noise, thanks. Um, down here, we can change our wallpaper directory so that we have a different folder we like to store our wallpapers in. You have some settings here that can control performance so that if, in certain circumstances, this is lagging your older computer or your slower computer, you can change some of this behavior, like not doing this when your laptop's on battery power would definitely save you a lot of power. You've got some different appearance and behavior settings as well that you can go through, like stretching it to fill. Oh yeah, this is this is the sort of thing that might be nice to not have. Not loading the actual like YouTube buttons in a live wallpaper would be nice. Like stripping that out would be great. Cause you can see that in the background here. So it's it's a nice feature, but this is, you know, when you don't pay for it, that's kind of what you get. You get random stuff popping up. So Maybe grab yourself one of those 12 hour live wallpapers and that'll fix that problem. Anyway, um, back to the system settings. You can see that they, you have some control here over the plugins. These are the video plugins on your computer that are used to play the videos. MPV's fine. You can also use VLC media player if it's installed or WMF, which is another codec. Um, GPU decoding. This is always a good idea. Hardware acceleration makes everything faster. It uses your GPU on your graphics card. You can have a, this says some web browser stuff. You can use WebView 2 or Ceph Sharp. Both are fine. GIF player, probably a good idea just to leave it on the one that's default, unless you know for a fact that Windows 10 would use it better. And then you also have some system settings here. Do you want this to change the taskbar appearance? Yes, no. You've got some developer options as well for debug here on the last page, along with the log file in case something breaks and you can send it to the developers. Oh, and the other things that you can do up here in the uh, menu bar as well, is you have the ability to determine which one of your monitors has an active live wallpaper in it. So you can have it in one, you can have it in two. It can just appear in whatever screen you currently have selected as well. Um, you can have it uh, span one across both, which so is one stretched image. So if you have like a dual screen video, it can also do that. And you can also just have it duplicate the same wallpaper on both uh, backgrounds, which could be fun. It'd be fun to do like a stretching across 
sort of deal. You can also set this as just a screensaver, although this will require you to install a separate plugin. I don't know if I'm going to do that in this tutorial, but there you have it. You can go and click and visit their Patreon, where you can give them the dollary dues to unlock additional functions and to help support them, which is always good to see because it's kind of fun if you really like a product to help them, like, you know, develop it by paying them some dollars. It keeps projects like this alive. And otherwise, yeah, that has been a brief look at Lively Wallpaper. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Again, it's available on the Windows 10 App Store. Just look up Lively Wallpaper. This is the logo, and this is uh, the developer, Rox Danister. So bye, everybody, and have a good one.